Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, I will show you how to use the Simpsons Index of Diversity to calculate the biodiversity of a habitat. Biodiversity is defined as the variety of life found in a place. It can be quantified in many different ways, but there are two main factors that are usually taken into account when measuring diversity species richness and species evenness. Species richness is the measurement of the number of species present in a place. The more species present in a sample, the richer the sample is. This measurement takes no account of the number of individuals of each species present. It gives as much weight to those species which have very few individuals as to those which have many individuals. For example, there are three different species of wildflowers found in field A and B. Even though the number of rose angel and daisy are very low in field B, the species richness is the same for both of the fields. Evenness, on the other hand, is a measurement of the relative abundance of the different species making up the richness of an area. For example, we sample two different lakes for aquatic animals. Both samples have the same richness and the same total number of individuals. However, the first sample has more evenness than the second. This is because the total number of individuals in the sample is quite evenly distributed between the three species. In the second sample, most of the individuals are freshwater snails, with only a few catfish and zebrafish present. Sample B is therefore considered to be less diverse than sample A. A community dominated by one or two species is considered to be less diverse than one in which several different species have a similar abundance. However, it is very difficult for us to judge by only looking at the numbers. That is why we need to calculate the Simpson's index of diversity for both habitats. It quantifies the biodiversity of habitats and gives us a numerical value to represent the diversity of the place. So, a valid comparison can be made. Most importantly, Simpson's Diversity Index takes into account both richness and evenness. Now, let's go through the steps to calculate the Simpson's Index of Diversity. Two ocean habitats were sampled and several species of animals were found. A formula can be used to obtain the Simpson's Index of Diversity, D, for both habitats. In this formula, the capital N is the total population size and the small letter n is the population size of each species. Let's arrange all the data in a table so it is more organized. For the first habitat, d is equal to 0 0.638, while for the second habitat, d is equal to 0 0.421. We have quantified the biodiversity of both sites, so it is now possible for us to make a valid comparison. We can conclude that Habitat 1 is more diverse than Habitat 2. You probably have noticed that, even though the second site has the same number of species and a larger population size compared to the first one, but it is less diverse. This is due to the fact that Habitat 1 has more evenness compared to Habitat 2. The value of D ranges between 0 to 1. 1 represents infinite diversity and 0 represents no diversity. So, the closer the value is to 1, the more diverse the habitat is. High species diversity suggests that the habitat has a greater number of successful species and therefore is a more stable ecosystem. More ecological niches are available and the environment is less likely to be hostile. It contains complex food webs. Any environmental change is less likely to be damaging to the ecosystem as a whole. A low species diversity suggests that there are relatively fewer successful species in the habitat. The environment is quite stressful with relatively fewer ecological niches and only a few organisms are really well adapted to that environment. Food webs in the area are relatively simple. Any change in the environment would probably have quite serious effects to the ecosystem. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.